This dashboard is currently displaying data for Temple University for the time period 2021 to around the present. The background page includes a lot of the information that we'll cover here today. The most important pieces are the context and considerations for the data, which impact how the data in this dashboard should be used. Also important is the contact information for further support that we'll be including in this section. The summary dashboard contains high-level stats, including the number of article collaborations, the number of collaborating cities, and the number of ORCID ID holders for the specific time period for the data pulled. There's also a bar chart at the bottom that notes the institutions with which Temple has had the highest number of collaborations based on the data for this time period. I want to note here that the color scheme is very neutral because, again, you're able to customize this to fit your own institution. When we share out this dashboard, it will likely contain mock data so that it takes less time to load and so that it's easier to swap out the data. You can navigate between the different sections at the very top by clicking on the buttons, which I'll be demonstrating throughout this video. The collaborations map uh, shows collaborations at the institutional and city levels. You can search for an institution and, if it shows up in the data, it'll show you where that institution is located. For this example, I'll search for a major collaborator of Temple University, which is the University of Pennsylvania. And you'll see that the map zooms in on Philadelphia, which is where UPenn is located. And below it, it lists institutions that come up when you search for the University of Pennsylvania. One limitation here is that typos, whether on the search end or on the data end, could potentially cause issues in bringing up information. But on the whole, it'll pull back a pretty good idea of collaborations with that institution. Also, if you click on one of these dots, below you'll see the institutions within that city and the number of collaborations with those institutions. This is especially useful if you're interested in diving deeper into the national and global reach of these collaborations. The other thing that you can do here is exclude your own institution from the map. Many researchers at an institution will obviously collaborate with other researchers at that same institution. So if you're more interested in external collaborations, you can filter them out here. The individual search section lets researchers explore their own collaborations by searching with an ORCID ID. I'll show an example here. You can now see this researcher's collaborations. We chose, not, we chose not to search by name, not only because there are cases of names that are not unique, which is really what ORCID is trying to solve here in the first place, but also because we didn't want to make it easy to just look up individuals, especially if they want to lock down their ORCID profiles. It's important to note that this data shouldn't be used to evaluate or compare researchers against one another because, again, the data are not perfect and do not give a full picture of collaborations and impact. This dashboard is just one angle through which to approach this information. However, if a researcher has filled out their or ORCID profile fully and feels confident with the information listed here, they can easily take a screenshot or export an image from this dashboard and drop it right into their promotion package or CV or website. Another one of the features that we're excited about is the Why Can't I Find My ORCID ID button. So if someone can't find their ORCID ID, and I'll just put a, a string here to show this, um, if someone can't find their ORCID ID, they can come up here and click on the Why Can't I Find My ORCID ID button. And this button takes you to a page that includes steps to take to acquire or clean an ORCID ID so that researchers or the users that you work with are counted in the data. We're hoping that this can be a useful outreach tool to encourage researchers to either adopt or more fully fill out their ORCID profiles. We will likely be adding some more specifics to this page but these are some of the key issues that can cause someone to not show up in the dashboard. I will also note that we've worked to build an accessibility into this Tableau dashboard in every way that we can, um, working around Tableau's own limitations. And some of these include adding captions and checking color contrast and using resizable layouts where possible. However, we encourage you to check for accessibility as you customize, especially if you will be changing any of the major visualizations or adding your own branding to the template. 